Hello Libra, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. These cards are hard to shuffle. Now the message here is Beware of what you are projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So what we can be doing here is we can notice traits in people that we don't like in ourselves. Remember, we always track to ourselves a reflection of who we are. So there's traits in somebody here that you're noticing. I always almost want to say is, please remember why you came together. Please remember that there's qualities you admire in this person and don't let the little idiosyncrasies take over how you feel about them. Now that's what I'm hearing. Don't focus on the negative qualities of a person. Focus on the positive. Seven of Wands. Temperance. And the Page of Wands. Now, this here is somebody who you admire, you're attracted to, there's somebody you could build something with, but you're feeling very defensive at the moment, you're feeling as if you've got to stand your ground here. It's it's a very it's about your boundaries, it's about your determination here to be right. Now we don't always have to be right here, but you're feeling the need to do that. This is somebody who you find attractive, but somebody who you see as fleeting in your life. It's somebody who is not necessarily a, your version of stable. So this here could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, but it's somebody, the reason this person is maybe going in and out your life like this is because you're focusing on the negative qualities of them and you're forgetting why you were attracted to this person in the first place. Now, we need to restore balance to this relationship. Now, this is balance after challenges, and you are capable of doing this. We'll see what this is about here. We'll take more cards. You're not admiring this person. You see them as physically very attractive, but there's something about them that's not sitting well with you. It can be as well that beauty is only skin deep here. So it might be that you're being drawn to somebody because of how they look and not necessarily the type of person that they are. There's your communication, Ace of Wands. Decisions that need to be made here to restore balance to your life and the eight of swords. Now, this is you overthinking things. You're, like I say, you're very defensive here. You might have to look at something from another perspective. There needs to be some form of communication here. There needs to be some talk that takes place here. The clouds need to clear. Uh, there will be clarity comes in. Always listen to your intuition here because there's a decision going to have to be made in your life to bring your balance back. And there could be a you're not sure how you want to do this. I would say listen to your intuition. Question the person you're with. Are they for you here? Um, do a bit of soul searching because the answers, it could be that you need to discuss things with this person and it could clear things up and readdress the balance. Or it could be that you need to speak out and make a decision to decide how to bring the balance back. You might walk away. But there, once you do this. You've got the right. Everybody's got freedom of choice. You'll know what you want to do here. Your intuition will tell you. You'll move forward very quickly. I think it's lost its luster here. It's about your long-term plans for the future. You will move on when you make this decision because I think you're attracted to somebody, but you're not attracted to their qualities. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.